Hey, I got a word for you. <laughs> I got a word for you. Man, I'll tell you something. Let me get this, make sure this thing is recording. Yeah, yeah, we're going to put this in there. Now, one of the things I do want to do is uh, uh, see if we can get through some of those scriptures that 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 we can use as foundation for discussion mm -hmm. uh, for those who, you know, for those who uh, 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 want to relate, see where we came from, right? See where we get information from. <laughs> so they, they can have it and chew on it. So everybody that's going to see this, God bless you. We're telling you, we have got, some, got a word for you that I think that, you know, we all need to have visibility on. So, We're going to get started, but well, we just want to go ahead and give a brief, a little bit about what we're going to talk about. Uh, and Brother Allison, you, it, it was, it was, it was something that the Lord gave you from the scriptures that he illuminated to you that kind of fits into this narrative today. And this week, and for further discussion, future discussion as well, you remember in the book of Acts where they told him not to speak in that, they told the disciples mm -hmm. not to speak in that name. Yeah. And you you were you were drawn to that. Uh and 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 I think the Lord was giving you. I, I believe he was he was illuminating something that has really uh, been continued up to this day. You know, uh, where don't preach in that name. Yeah, and and it seemed to be. Uh, Never stop. Remember, they used to cheat. The, the the Jewish people used to um, follow the disciples or follow the preaching of the gospel to the Gentiles. They would go to those locations and discourage or rile the people up about the way. Right. You know, it wasn't called Christianity at that time. It was it really the way, uh, Yahusha's way? But you remember? Do you remember that scripture in the Book of Acts? Where yeah, it said, "Don't I, preach in that name." Acts three. Acts three. Okay, let's go to that. Uh, one second. You you actually got it up then, right? I'm gonna bring no, it up. No, I, I don't. Um, Is Acts three? Okay, let me go to it though. Can I'm gonna show. I'm, well, I'm gonna bring was, that. Actually, it's four. Four. Four eighteen is where where they actually said that. Okay, I, I will bring it up. But three gives you more detail why <laughs> they say that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. Eighteen, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. No second here. Let's uh. Bring that up because it's almost maybe part of the central theme that we we're going to use today. Because we we at one of the things uh, everyone we've been talking about is why even ministries, uh, the teachers, uh, the ministry, the teacher of the gospel, the priests, the popes, the fi the, the the fathers. I'm going to call them priests. Uh, father so and so, whatever uh, the different denominations, the the person, and really kind of keep my mind when you talk to the young man um, a few days ago when you gave him a lot of logical information, uh, and he actually uh, said, despite that, I'm going to stick with you know Jesus' name. Yeah, and I and I have a, a directive that I want to show you that the captain put out in 2008 as to why they would, they would continue to explain why they want to leave Yahuwah 
out of the scriptures, uh, out of the the out of messages, and out of the uh, <laughs> out of the translation, <coughs> Files, the, the King James translation, anyway, and maybe some of the other translations. But you said it right here, people. This is what Brother uh, uh, Addison was talking about when the uh, disciples on the day of. After I guess on the day of Pentecost, it may have been three. Was what was the day of Pentecost? Three or four? Hmm. I don't want to want to uh, give you the wrong information. I'm not sure. I think it was. I think it was three. Let me make sure. Uh, we can we can move that around here. It's it's it it's in three. Um, is it is in three? It the day the of hour, Pentecost. The hour of prayer, the ninth hour. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, I'm going to go up there and then I'm going to come back to, because like I said, just what gives some background. <laughs> it was a, the, <laughs> you have to give people background. Because yeah. we, we, we take for granted that people know something, right? And and that's not always the case. Uh, let me see. And John wanted to tell me, that's, I think Pentecost was chapter two, the day of Pentecost. Because Peter, Peter and them went up there uh, they, see, it said chapter two, Acts chapter two, mm. and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, see that? Uh, I'm showing on the screen. Yeah. See, the day of Pentecost was fully come, and they're all on one accord, people. I want you to understand that because I, I, I believe that the move of God is also to get us all on one accord. And one accord means based on his will and his right and his word, not based on the doctrine and the things of man. Because remember when Christ, <laughs> when Peter was telling Christ about rebuking him for going to the cross, uh, he turned around and said, get behind me, Satan, for you are mindful of the things of man instead of the things of God. And that's why I'm trying to make sure we, we're going to be the focus is on the things of God. Uh, <laughs> and and we have to do that because his movement is to make sure people know him. And I'm going to show you the scriptures about that. But the day of Pentecost, people, uh, if 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 matter of fact, let me see here. I, I, matter of fact, I read to what I think it was like uh, multitude, right? From one to six, right? And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. The people that were sitting people were Jewish people, were Hebrew people. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost or the Ruha HaKodesh. Glory to God. I'm using parallel. I'm putting the King James Version up there, and I'm putting the Sefer Bibles in parallel so that we can understand some of these words. But, and, but verse 4 said on the Sefer, and they were all filled with the Ruha HaKodesh. And I could, you could pronounce it better, brother. But began to speak with other tongues as the Ruha gave them utterance. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. For those people, if we go, we'll get to that directive. Because one of the things that the directive is going to talk about, Brother Addison, is that the, the Catholic church said this was catholic church and i don't know maybe apparently the other denominations that follow suit said that they are offended by us using a yahuwah mm -hmm. uh, you, you know in, in romans we talk about that <laughs> they provoke them to jealousy right yeah even when even when they crucified christ even pontus uh, pontus Pilate said that they knew that the Jewish leadership put him forward out of envy, right? Yeah. They, it has not, what I'm saying is, apparently that is still something today. And, and, and for those people that are Jewish that may even listen, especially the Messianic Jews, I know they, they, they're on board with what I'm talking about, but the Jews that are not, but may listen out of 
monitoring where things are happening. God, Christ loves you. If you, if those people that claim to be followers of Christ, we love you as a Jewish person. We love you as any other nation and any other tongues out there. Our gospel is a gospel of love. So we, when we reverence God Almighty, meaning Yahuwah, we reverence him not out of disrespect. We want to know who he is. We want to know the power of his resurrection because that is our father in heaven. I know you may feel that, no, 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 we, we got the covenant with him and Yahuwah. No, no, the rest of y'all don't have nothing to do with it. That is not what God called even you to do. Because at the height of Israel, at the type of Solomon and all the glory of Solomon, nations were coming to what, Brother Addison? To Jerusalem mm -hmm. to get and hear the wisdom of Solomon. And what wisdom does Solomon have? The best wisdom is who is God? Who is Yahuwah? He was making, he was letting them come and understand the God of Israel. Who is the God of Israel? His name is Yahuwah. And who is Yahuwah? He is the creator of heaven and earth. He is the creator of all mankind. This is not a, this is a world belief. This is a world understanding of our creator and knowing him is what he wants all of us to do. Because every last one of us, I think that Hebrews 27, 9, 27 says it. There's a appointed day for every man of every last one of us to die. Is that true? And then judgment. We'll all go before God. Some of us going to go with, with the glory of God gospel and the covenant of the Holy Spirit because we are born again and we'll go before Christ for our works that we have done. The works of what? The work of the ministry is to what? Go preach to what? The gospel, the persona to the whole world, correct? Yes. Amen. So so I just want them to know we 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 we're called to preach the gospel. We're not called to preach hate. We're not called to sit there and 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 crucify you if you even I don't care I know that 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 the, the question of whether you those I'm talking about the Jewish people today the modern Jewish people today uh we're not called to hate you we're called to love everyone to include you so I just want I just want to put that out there you you, you understand where I'm coming from because you see that directive is talking about they they don't want us to know Yahuwah. They feel offended for us knowing Yahuwah. And they don't understand he wants us to know him. He wants the world to know him. I even thought about the, I'm rambling a little bit, but every when they, when when they even came into the things he did to the Egyptians was that for people to know him. You saw a lot of things, the acts they did, and even in Old Testament, was to show people who God is, right? Amen. It was to glorify God. And God is his, has a name. His name is Yahuwah. <laughs> and it means behold the hands. Behold the nails in the hand. <laughs> I'm sending a Savior to the world. Not just the Jewish people. Not, as a matter of fact, you know it ain't just the Jewish people because there's 12, is that, is that going to come on, Brother Ashton? There's 12 tribes of Four Israel. <clears throat> so so he, he, he didn't come to just say Jews, because most of you now, most of the Jewish people here out there, whether they're converts uh, or not, they're saying Jews, but he came to save the 12 tribes of Israel. <laughs> He came to save the whole world. Amen? Amen. In the book of Isaiah chapter 6, they will also put that in mind. But back to what we're bringing here was that all those nations, that's what I was trying to bring out, right? All those nations, devout Jews, <laughs> men. Now, that that's separating us more than just Jews in that verse 5. Let me bring it up a little bit more. That kind of implies more than... Because it said, that's a, that's a comma there, right? 
Yeah. Jerusalem Jews, comma, them out men, comma, out of every nation under heaven. Well, some people could sit there and say that all those people are Jewish people, or because it's that, unless Jewish people had all people in all nations, I, I imply that a lot of people came to Jerusalem. But it could be mostly, you know, Jewish people scattered abroad, I guess, but it's saying every nation, correct? Every nation. And, yeah, and, and and they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, "Behold, are not all these which speak Gal uh, speak Galileans? And how we hear every one in our own tongue, wherein we were born." All right. So these people was hearing uh, outside of Jerusalem, devout men, Jews, of hearing their tongue spoken from the nation that they came from, all right? Now, we want to get to the part where you was talking is, let's see here, do you want to bring it down? Because how do the parallel? Yeah, Let me see if I can. That's 4, 9, and 10. It's a 4, 9, and 10. Before you get to, four, I mean, when did the, when oh, did they, uh, the, uh, the uh, Pharisees came and grabbed them the first time and all that stuff? Where is that? Yeah, that's... uh. Was it in three or was it in, yeah, let's see, it was in three? Let's see toward the end. Let's see here. People did we bear you know, our our sessions are all study sessions anyway, and we just invite you into our study session. Uh one day we might have to go live, but as I said, we bring people in. Which which is good too, because they probably be able to uh, you know, give more enlightenment as well. Uh-huh. But I do, I do want to, the 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 uh, format it's, is really it's not four. to be scholarly, but just to huh? It's four. It, it's four. Okay, not to sit there and try to be scholarly and think because uh, we get too academic. I I I think the 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 the, the calling uh, that I have is for the congregation to get into studying the Word of God for themselves. Also, the, you depend on the equipping of the uh, the fivefold ministry gifts, scholars, and everything else as giving us tools to study for ourselves, right? Because the scripture said in Second Timothy two fifteen, study to show yourself approved unto Yah, unto God, and 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 that's why I want to encourage everybody: don't just take a message from church or even from this session without going back and do some own digging and own research yourselves, because that's what it's all about. Okay, so you're saying four, when did when did they came and grab them? <laughs> they, 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 okay, four. and they came on, on a moral, let me see, <laughs> let's read what? Verse four, Acts chapter four, verse one, and as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captains of the temple and the Sadducee came upon them, and everybody asked, Ah, being greed. Look what. Look look. Just just like I'm gonna show you this directive. Hopefully we we'll get today. Uh, being greed that they taught the people and did what and preached through Yahusha the resurrection from the dead, which is what he told them to go do. Right? He told yeah. them to go preach the gospel. Right? Sure. <clears throat> and 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 they lay hands on them. And put them in holes until the next day, for they were now evening. Verse 4, how be it many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes, let me come on down, live here, bring it up. Uh, let's see here. Four, four, six. Well, I said rulers and scribes came. Right, five, so six. Yeah. <clears throat> and Ananias, I'm gonna bring up just a little bit more. And Ananias, the high priest, and Cassiphus, and John, and Alexander. And you read on the other side of Sefer, you can see their actual names and how they uh they call the uh 
the uh, Caliphus and John and the priests, Alexander, and many of those you see on the sea for those different names, as they were the kindreds of the high priests, were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked by what power, and, and oh, oh, this is another thing too, this directive, one of the discussion was, uh, you'll love this, but I ask, this is a revelation, at least for me, was the fact is that uh, even when they ask Christ, what authority are you preaching? What they're saying, Brother Addison, is you are you teaching and preaching under the authority that we gave you or the system that we have for you? Or there's some other ministry that we that exists that gives you permission to teach this way. What authority? Are you preaching from? Are you preaching? Look, look, yeah, I'm trying to bring perspective. Are you preaching under the Baptist authority? Are you preaching under the Methodist authority? You see what I'm saying? Are you preaching from the Catholic? What what a thought are you are you tracking where coming from? Any time about the to Christ, you know Christ was gonna say, My authority came from the Father. Yeah. But but how the system has crept in here is that you need to be under some authority who tells you how you supposed to preach, teach, worship. Are you trying to come from? Yeah, that's this world. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's the way the world is. Come on now. In other words, how to control, just like when, when Rome took over and made that the state religion, uh, they did it so that they can control them. Remember, they mm -hmm. tried to kill them, right? They 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 try to waste the church, put them in the arena, burn them alive, uh, put them, fed them to the lions. You know, did all kind of horrible things to them, and they said they still keep growing. Why? Because it's a movement of who, the 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 head of the church was still, in where they couldn't reach. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 the Holy Spirit was bringing people in. Because it was based on the leading and guiding of the Holy Spirit with Christ being the head, it they kept growing. So this is what they did, brothers and sisters. If I can't beat them, then maybe I can control them. Maybe I can manipulate them. Maybe I can get them to merge in and mix the things, the same thing. Oh, God. The same thing that caused Solomon, Sol, what, Solomon, Solomon, mm -hmm. to fall. The same <laughs> thing that caused the children of Israel to fall. Because he told them, didn't he? He told them, I don't want you mixing in far as the religions of those other nations. I yeah. told them. He told them that. Even at one because point, what did they do? Them, huh? He didn't want them to, to mingle as far as marriage or taking in as wives or husbands of any other yeah. I yeah. mean, it, it was serious. It was. Because cause I can see, I see what they were trying to do from a pol political world way, worldly way, it's all worldly. Mm -hmm. We're going to exchange wives so that we can merge together as, as, as uh, alliances and stuff. Well, the problem is, I can see it from the beginning, and I think you agree with it, you can marry into our kingdom, our nation, our country, but you'll follow our, you'll worship, well, see, when you come, when you come to us, we're worshiping, there's no other God beside him. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? If you're going to, if you're going to convert, because you know they had converts, right? They had converts. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to convert, you're going to convert to uh, the the Hebrew uh, you can convert to Yahuwah yeah. and his ways and the and, and the direct directive he's given us. If we marry if you if we give our daughters to you or we give our sons to your daughters, they gotta become worship of Yahuwah, not worship of your pagan God. Because we, we're not gonna receive your pagan God. But that's what they did, is my point, right? Yeah. That's what they did. And that caused them to fall. That caused the downfall when he did that. He says it's called adultery. It is. As far as he's concerned, we're, you're married to God and you said this time worshiping other religions, you you are committing adultery. 
Anyway, so so let's see here. They, but I want to get because like eighteen is actually going to get it. But they said up here earlier, if, if, from what we saw, right? <laughs> they said though preaching that you know they they were offended, right? Yeah. Uh, what what was that verse anyway? <laughs> Seven? seven was it seven? Yeah. Oh, seven. okay. The, or the, the seven said, and when they had set them in the midst, they asked by what well, that's what we got cut off, right? That's the problem. Which I give all these scriptures to people on the God. Well, anyway, <laughs> the power or by what name have you done this? Right? But I'm saying earlier they said they it was a reason they came. Verse two, being look at this word, that's a heavy word, is it being grieved? Right? Mm -hmm. Two, verse two. They were grieved, brother. Uh, they were grieved that they taught the people. Uh, you see a sense, you see a thread happening here? Just like we're not teaching, just like ministries have been called not to preach. Teachers, they take the they, they preach, they teach preachers, they teach hopes, they teach, you know, they teach uh priests. They teach different denominations to do this. What? They be agree that they taught the people and preached through Yahusha the resurrection from the dead. Well, my point is that guy that you was talking to, despite everything you told him, does it seem like he's lining up with this one right here? Yeah. <clears throat> they they it's taught they were a problem with you teaching. And uh, Yahusha's the resurrection from the dead. I just think that there's a there's a blindness. Mm. Um, there's a oh, blindness yeah. to this. And, yeah, uh, there's a force behind it. Yeah, and, there's, there's and, a spiritual force behind yeah. it. And and until the Ruach gives the revelation. Which think, is what he's doing now. Yeah, I think I'm telling you right now. They're 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 not going to grasp this or see this. Uh, mm -hmm. No different than than us. So well, it, 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 and don't forget, don't forget. It, I agree. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, well, and and then as far as you know, the 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 ministry gifts uh, teaching this, which, which mm -hmm. would be astonishing. Mm -hmm. when, when, just like here, these religious leaders back in this time, when uh, in verse two it says they were grieved, you got to understand that word means worried. Woo, yeah. They right. were worried because mm -hmm. now there is an authority and a power that is greater than theirs. Yes, that's the whole point. The position that they held was threatened. Mm hmm. And not only That's threatened, but it was it was not threatened by those who taught in the name of Yahusha, but mm -hmm. by the signs following. Come on now. Come on, that way even Christ did, right? He even said, if you do my work, check my works out. If you you don't want to believe my words and what I said, we'll check my works. My works line up with my words. Mm -hmm. mm. Woo! Come on. So <laughs> the, the, the point is that even the day that on that directive, I'm gonna, uh, hopefully we get to, I'll email it to you anyway, was the fact is that one of the reasons they said is that we they considered it offensive to, they still being found it offensive to talk and to teach Yahuwah and apparently Yahoo shop. That's why they said dead too. That's one of the reasons why, because people look at this. Like Brother Adam said, we did verse seven. Now we're going to go to this, where well, we have to read third. We had, so they can see it, you know, bring it up to there. I'm saying, yeah. I'll let you take over eight to 13. Mm -hmm. We'll get to 18, right? You said all the way to 18 anyway, right? Yeah. It says, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Yeshua that by the name of Yeshua Hamashiach of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom Elohim raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you. you gotta remember, this is the man who was lame since birth, that Woo! by that name, 
Yeshua, our Mashiach, was healed completely. Mm. Completely. And this is Just without birth. without going through physical therapy and, and and you know any surgery or anything like that. This man was made whole. In eleven. So this is the stone which was set at not of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. It says neither is there Yeshua in any other, for there is no other name under heaven Ooh. given among Ooh. men whereby we must be saved. Oh, and just stop there for a second. This, now you can go to Acts this, 2, this 21 is, and it will explain. It says, and it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name whoa. of the Lord shall be saved. You say it's in that it's in this one? It's in Acts 2 21. Oh, 2 21. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, uh the one of the uh, videos that the guy brought up, he was saying that even when Christ said, when they were gonna cruise, when they they're questioning him, the Sanhedrins. Mm -hmm. And he said, you will not see me again until you heard the Son of Man shall come in the name of Yahuwah. Yeah. And he said that that was, that was a direct translation. He even gave the translation, and we'll, we won't cover it today, but that, that direct translation said that you won't see me again until you see me come in the name. Yeah. Of Yahuwah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The, and, and therefore, they've been trying to keep this name out. That's why we, we, we got all these translations and transliterations, because it, that doesn't really add up on the fact is that most historical figures, we keep their name. If you ever think about it, right? Yeah. I mean, if <laughs> what is, what is a Chinese name? Huh? If you're changing an individual's name, if you're if you're trying to document history, that means that you're changing a narrative for a reason. You There's are. a reason yeah. behind it. And, yeah. it, it. and it is to benefit those who are writing or who are are. Who, who are petitioning the scribes to write. 